assalamu alaikum students once again i welcome you in the course of work based learning project and uh, definitely the course that you are going to discuss and have is going all right the things that we have discussed in the previous classes were about the skills that a person gets when he enters a workplace bahut sari skills ke bare mein hum logon ne padha aur ye sari sahi maano mein practical skills hain jo ki kisi bhi insaan ko zarurat aa sakti hain work based learning ka maqsad hi yahi hai ke aap log aise skills pe focus kare aise skills ko learn karna apni preference banaye जो के ना सिर्फ थ्योरी की हद तक बल्कि प्रैक्टिकली जब आप ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में जाएं तब भी आपकी हेल्प करें तो स्टूडेंट्स पिछली क्लासेस में थोड़ा सा रिकैप करते हैं आपने क्या देखा टाइप्स ऑफ नॉलेज को देखा टाइप्स ऑफ नॉलेज में हमने क्या पढ़ा डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ नॉलेज को डिस्कस किया थियोरेटिकल नॉलेज मैथडोलॉजिकल नॉलेज प्रैक्टिकल स्किल्स जनरिक नॉलेज या जनरिक स्किल्स एंड जनरल नॉलेज अबाउट एनी पर्टिकुलर फील्ड ऑफ स्टडी क्या थी कैसे हमें हेल्प कर सकती हैं क्या जरूरत है कहां पर गैप अवेलेबल है उसके बाद हम लोगों ने देखा कि उन गैप्स को फुलफिल करने के लिए हमें किस किस्म की स्किल्स को फोकस करने की जरूरत है उन गैप्स को जो कि नॉलेज के गैप्स थे जो कि इंडस्ट्री की रिक्वायरमेंट तो है लेकिन यूनिवर्सिटीज आर नॉट पेइंग that much attention for some reason to develop those skills possible hai ki kuch universities to us pe focus kar rahi ho lekin as a whole agar hum dekhein to shayad generally organizations generally universities shayad us pe focus nahi kar rahi yahi to wajah hai के रिसर्चर ने जो रिसर्च स्टडी कंडक्ट की उसकी फाइंडिंग्स में ही आइडेंटिफाइड दैट देर इज स्टिल नीड टू एनहांस सर्टेन टाइप्स ऑफ नॉलेज दैट आर जेनरिक नॉलेज जनरल नॉलेज अबाउट द ऑक्यूपेशन and methodological knowledge to so, jab ye gap hamare paas wazeh taur pe available hai jab organizations ko in skills ki zarurat hai to universities ko focus karna chahiye ke wo apne पार्ट पे वो अपने तरफ से कोशिश करें ताकि इस गैप को अचीव किया जा सके इस गैप को फुलफिल किया जा सके ऑन द अदर हैंड हम लोग इसको इस पर्सपेक्टिव में देखते हैं कि जितनी ज्यादा स्किल्स कोई भी इंडिविजुअल लर्न करेगा वाइल्ड वर्किंग इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आइदर फुल टाइम और पार्ट टाइम वट एवर द नेचर ऑफ वर्क टाइमिंग ऑफ वर्क मे बी तो उतना ज्यादा इन गैप्स को एड्रेस किया जा सकेगा उतना इन गैप्स को मिनिमाइज किया जा सकेगा डू यू ऑल एग्री विद मी यस सो जो स्किल्स हम लोगों ने डिस्कस की जो कि एक बंदा जाके वर्क प्लेसेस में अचीव करता है उसमें बहुत सारी स्किल्स थी 
جن کو کہ آنے والے وقت میں مزید ڈیٹیل سے ڈسکس کریں گے کچھ کے حوالے سے تھیوریز ڈسکس کریں گے کچھ کے حوالے سے ریسرچ فائنڈنگز کو اپنی لیکچرز کا حصہ بنانے کی کوشش کریں گے ایکشن پلاننگ سے لے کے آفٹر آل ایٹ لاسٹ امپلیمنٹیشن ایویلویشن اور کمیونیکیشن ٹیم ورکنگ یہ ساری ایسی امپورٹنٹ سکلز ہیں جن کے بغیر کسی بھی آرگنائزیشن میں افیکٹیولی پرفارم کرنا مشکل ہے اینڈ دس از واٹ دا ایسنس آف ورک بیسڈ لرننگ از ایکچولی دیٹ وی آر لوکنگ فار پیپل دیٹ وی آر لوکنگ فار دا انڈیویلس ہو لرن ان اے فارمل سیٹنگ ایٹ دیئر یونیورسٹیز اینڈ take that knowledge to the workplace for formal proper implementation to carry out organizational operations at times we say that organization mein kaam karna bahut aasan hai lekin bahut mushkil bhi ban jata hai اگر ہم ایک ایگزامپل لیں آپریشنس مینیجر کی جو کہ ایک بینک میں بیٹھا ہوا ہے ہی از رسپانسبل فار لوکنگ آفٹر آل دا آپریشنس آف دا بینک ون آف دا فنکشنس آف آپریشنس مینیجر از ٹو ڈسپیچ دا انکم اسٹیٹمنٹس ایٹ دا اینڈ آف ایچ منتھ تو کیا ہے اگر تو آپ کے کسٹمرز بہت تھوڑے سے ہیں شاید سو کسٹمرز ہیں تو آپ کو بینک اسٹیٹمنٹ ڈسپیچ کرنا اتنا مشکل نہ لگتا ہو لیکن دا تھنگس گیٹ کمپلیکس وین دا نمبر آف ایکٹیویٹیز یو ہیو ٹو پرفارم دا نمبر آف جابس دیٹ یو آر سپوز ٹو ڈو اگر بینگ این آپریشن مینیجر یو آر رسپانسبل فار ڈسپیچنگ ففٹی تھاؤزینڈ بینک اسٹیٹمنٹس to the people residing at different places they have different postal addresses different contact numbers different financial figures and so on what will you do see over here being an operations manager you have to have certain skills you have to organize you have to synchronize you have to make some order of the things you have to arrange resources you have to allocate resources you are supposed to manage the time within a given time you have to deliver so students dekhen jab kabhi bhi hum job join karte hain اس کا مطلب یہ ہے کہ ظاہر ہے ہمیں بہت ساری ایسی اسکلس آنی چاہیے اور نہیں آتی تو ہمیں سیکھنی چاہیے جو کہ ہمارے کام کو آسان بنائیں پاسبل ہے یہ جو آپریشن مینیجر ہے ہی از ویری ایکسپیرینسڈ بٹ ہیز نو نالج اباؤٹ آپریٹنگ اے لیپ ٹاپ بہت ایکسپیرینس آدمی ہے کافی سالوں سے بینک میں کام کر رہا ہے ہی نوز آل دا پروسیجرس بٹ دا تھنگ از ہی ڈو ناٹ نو ہاؤ ٹو آپریٹ اے لیپ ٹاپ وٹ ول ہی ڈو ول ہی بی ایبل ٹو رائٹ اے لیٹر ول ہی بی ایبل ٹو پرنٹ دا بینک اسٹیٹمنٹس ول ہی بی ایبل ٹو پرنٹ اور ٹائپ the addresses of the people will he will he be able to retrieve all these things from his computer storage definitely no so when he do not know about operating a basic machine so how will he be able to manage time 
how will he be able to deliver the things in time so students hum logo ne ye sikha ki bahut sari cheeze jo ki shayad normal halat mein hame zarurat na padti ho ya hamare liye unki ahmiyat utni wazeh na ho jo hi hum workplace mein enter hote hain to in cheezon ki ahmiyat वाज होना शुरू हो जाती है और अगर आपके पास स्किल्स हैं और अगर आपके पास रेलिवेंट नॉलेज है तो यू विल बी दन टू इजीली एड्रेस टू दैट प्रॉब्लम इजीली डू दैट जॉब अकम्पलिश दैट जॉब अदरवाइज इट विल बी रियली हैक्टिक फॉर यू टू डू इट एंड यू मे based on your poor performance lose a job or may become a result may may become a part of or may become a reason of unsuccessful operations of your organization so skills are necessary and skills are generally learned while you are working few skills are generally or can be learned through trainings at the workplaces few skills can be developed like analytical skills like language skills like personal presentation skills and universities but few practical skills will be learned or are to be learned at the workplace students let's look at few more things about work based learning and look into the practical things now related to work based learning current practices of work based learning means to say hame work based learning kahan kahan maujood kahan kahan present hoti nazar aati hai work based learning different organizations mein hame maujood nazar aati hai different industry university collaboration ke through होती नजर आती है जब कभी भी हम अपने स्टूडेंट्स को कुछ प्रैक्टिकल लर्निंग के लिए ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में भेजते हैं तो हमें लर्निंग होती नजर आती है जब कभी हम वन डे टूर के लिए स्टूडेंट्स को वन डे ट्रिप के लिए किसी इंडस्ट्री का विजिट कराते हैं इंडस्ट्रियल विजिट्स होते हैं अगेन दैट इज वर्क बेस्ड लर्निंग बिकॉज वेन स्टूडेंट्स गो ओवर देयर दे लर्न मैनी थिंग्स बाय ऑब्जर्विंग इस तरह से कुछ वर्क बेस्ड लर्निंग्स हैं जिनका के ड्यूरेशन टाइम ड्यूरेशन बहुत शॉर्ट होता है कुछ का बहुत लॉन्ग होता है बट वन वे और द अदर दे हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ एनकाउंटर विद द वर्क प्लेसेस विद द वर्किंग एनवायरमेंट व्हेन आई से एनकाउंटर मींस सम सॉर्ट ऑफ फॉर्मल और इनफॉर्मल इंटरेक्शन विद द वर्क प्लेस इज नोन एज एनकाउंटर so students now let's move on to the current practices that are seen while studying different organizations different disciplines of study current practices of work life current practices of work based learning includes brief encounter short project sandwich placement 
alternating sequence of placement, employment based learning programs, immediately post qualifying, continuing professional development. These are few of the categories, these are few of the bifurcations in which we may see work based learning happening. So starting with the first one that is about brief encounter and as we start moving from brief encounter to continual professional development calm ki ratio zyada hoti jayegi involvement ki ratio zyada hoti jayegi study ka aspect hoga zarur lekin kam ratio se hota chala jayega pehli surat mein study ka ratio zyada hai work ka ratio kam hai aur jo jo hum move karte jayenge niche ki taraf और प्रोफेशनल डेवलपमेंट की तरफ मूव करते चले जाएंगे स्टडी का पोर्शन कम होता चला जाएगा वर्क का पोर्शन बढ़ता चला जाएगा स्टार्टिंग विद द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज अबाउट ब्रीफ एनकाउंटर व्हाट बेसिकली इज ब्रीफ एनकाउंटर ब्रीफ एनकाउंटर इज स्मॉलेस्ट फॉर्म of interaction with the workplace basically who are involved in this brief encounter with the workplace definitely these are the students and students belonging to different disciplines of education different disciplines of knowledge these students can be management science students these students can be medical sciences these students can be from engineering these students can be from computer sciences and so on so whenever students belonging to any discipline have a short very short encounter with a workplace it is known as brief encounter the time duration that is involved is generally from half day to seven days kuch ghanton ke liye aap le gaye visit pe students ko aapne hatar mein gadu namazai mein ya for that matter kisi bhi industrial estate mein ya कहीं भी किसी भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में स्टूडेंट्स को एक एक्सपोजर के लिए थोड़े से टाइम पीरियड के लिए ले गए दिस इज अ ब्रीफ एनकाउंटर एंड व्हाट इज योर ओपिनियन दैट डू पीपल लर्न फ्रॉम दिस वेरी शॉर्ट एनकाउंटर विद द वर्क प्लेस एनवायरमेंट यस पीपल डू लर्न अ लॉट पीपल लुक एट द पीपल डूइंग वर्क पीपल लर्न अबाउट द एनवायरमेंट people learn about many other things that are happening at that place at that time another thing which is necessary to look at is brief encounter where generally brief counter happens what is the place and definitely i have discussed earlier that the place that is generally involved is the workplace is the organization involved and an other factor that is to be discussed under this brief encounter is what are the objectives of brief encounter so definitely as the name suggests as we have discussed few examples related to brief encounter i mean it is necessary to 
look at the objective as well and the objective is to make people learn make people develop an idea about the organization or the workplace so it says that it is generally for awareness of the students that how workplace looks like what people ex exactly actually do at the workplace what are other things present in the workplace and so on after looking at brief encounter let's move on to another thing another form of work based learning that is short project so what basically is short project short project is can take a form of an assignment a case study an inquiry about some particular organization addressing to particular research problem within an organization identifying the problems existing in specific organization and to find out the solutions so this type of work based project is known as short project when you assign your students with digging out something finding the problems finding the solutions to the problems is known as short project who are participants of it who are involved in it again students of all subjects including management sciences arts and designs computer sciences engineering students of project management and so on isko samajhna aasan is tarah se hai ke aapne ek computer sciences ke student ko chhota sa task de diya as an assignment or as a project to be completed that is about development of a web page having such and such specifications such and such requirements to be inculcated when he completes when he gets involved refinement of his theoretical concept concepts as well as application side of it will make him or her learn on the basis of theory as well as practice generally where it is applied or seen specific assignment to workplace or specific assignment in workplace that is basically about aapne students ko ye kaha go to bank al fala and try to come up with the identification of the problems that their customers are currently facing and also suggest solution to those problems so is an example of short project is an example of short assignment that may takes 1 to 7 weeks to be completed and you are being a student supposed to submit it back to the university in here in this example we have seen that students are directly interacting with the organization they might be going to the organization they might be visiting over there they might be dealing with the customers they have to communicate with the people over there they are involved in looking at different things they are involved in learning different things they are exposed to happening of many other things and the basic objective behind this is to 
इमर्जन इन अ रियल वर्क रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी आप जब उनको एक्चुअली एक काम हैंड ओवर करते हैं and you work them to in, uh, you get them to involve completely in work you want them to involve completely in work so it is about short project and the objective of short pro short project is to introduce students with the actual practical work so we have discussed something about short project short project mein aap students ko practically involve karne ke liye ek assignment ek project de dete hain aur students usme अपना इनपुट देके अपनी चीज़ों को प्रॉब्लम्स uh, को लेके चलता है वहाँ पे एंड ही ट्राइज टू फाइंड आउट द सोल्यूशन एंड व्हेन ही प्रैक्टिकली एक्चुअली इंटरेक्ट विद द सिचुएशन एंड डील विद द पीपल एंड कम्युनिकेट्स विद द पीपल सो ही लर्न एंड यूटिलाइजेस मेनी ऑफ द स्किल्स दैट ही हैज एंड इन दिस वेरी मैनर आई मीन दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेज ऑफ वर्क बेस्ड लर्निंग सैंडविच प्लेसमेंट एज द नेम सजेस्ट वट बेसिकली इज सैंडविच प्लेसमेंट सैंडविच प्लेसमेंट होती क्या है सैंडविच में जिस तरह से ब्रेड के दो पीसेज होते हैं और उसके दरमियान कुछ रख के प्रेजेंट किया जाता है इसी तरह से इफ यू लुक एट सैंडविच प्लेसमेंट सो सैंडविच प्लेसमेंट इज इन बिटवीन द रनिंग सेमेस्टर और मे बी इन बिटवीन द टू रनिंग टर्म्स और टू रनिंग सेमेस्टर फॉर अ स्पेसिफाइड पीरियड ऑफ टाइम फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक पीरियड ऑफ टाइम वेन द कैंडिडेट when the student is asked to go for work during his studies it is known as sandwich placement who are basically uh, related to this sandwich placement or who are the one to qualify for it definitely the students who are taking or who have been enrolled under some program in the university and they have been generally asked to go for sandwich uh, placement where they are supposed to go they are supposed to go to the organizations or the potential organizations where they are looking for some per, uh, permanent job so they have to move over there and they have to again spend certain number of months the number of months that they are supposed to present they are supposed to be there in the organization may last for 6 to 15 months they are supposed to work over there maybe a semester or two in simple words to get involved in the work to get involved in the activities that are taking place in the workplace to learn about many of the happenings many of the practical things that happen on day to day basis and the objective of this sandwich placement is again to make students learn about the practical experiences about the practical problems that an organization is uh, facing so introducing to professional responsibility means to say how the professionals are involved in taking up the responsibility and how they match or mismatch the authority they have and the responsibilities they have so this is the objective or the core objective of sandwich placement in the organization sandwich placement ki baat kar rahe the as the name suggests sandwich placement is basically i mean this is the placement of a student at some work place uh, in between two semesters ho sakta hai kuch semester ki break leke ho sakta hai और uh, कुछ uh, इस तरह से अरेंजमेंट हो सकती है कि कुछ शायद एक दो सेमेस्टर्स के लिए आपको काम के लिए भेज दिया जाए इजाज़त दे दी जाए और फिर आप आएँ वापस और आके अपनी स्टडीज़ कंप्लीट करें uh, कुछ टर्मिनोलॉजीज़ जो यूज़ होती हैं जिसको हम अप्रेंटिसशिप का नाम देते हैं इंटर्नशिप का नाम देते हैं को ऑप्स का नाम देते हैं दैट बेसिकली डिफर्स बेसिकली ऑन द बेस ऑफ टाइम सो मीन्स टू से ये है कि कहने का मतलब ये है कि यहाँ पर अगर हम सैंडविच प्लेसमेंट को देखें तो सैंडविच प्लेसमेंट के लिए बाज़ात सेमेस्टर्स के दरमियान में ब्रेक दे के स्टूडेंट को काम के लिए भेज दिया जाता है एंड आफ्टर हैविंग दैट मच एक्सपीरियंस अबाउट ही विल कम बैक एंड जॉइंस जॉइंस द यूनिवर्सिटी अगेन एंड विल कम्पलिश द फील्ड I mean the studies that he was uh, he was involved in. Sandwich placement के बाद एक और type है जिसको हम 
अल्टरनेटिंग सीक्वेंस ऑफ प्लेसमेंट कहते हैं अल्टरनेटिंग जैसे नाम से जाहिर है अल्टरनेटिंग में कोई टाइम स्पैन आइडेंटिफाइड नहीं है कोई ऐसा पक्का हमारे पास स्लॉट नहीं है जिसके अगेंस्ट हम लोग उसको अवेल करवाएं स्टूडेंट को बट चूंकि अल्टरनेट है किसी वक्त भी मे बी सपोज अगर आठ सेमेस्टर्स हैं एक सेमेस्टर के बाद भेज दिया फिर दो सेमेस्टर्स करवाए फिर भेज दिया फिर एक सेमेस्टर के बाद फिर भेज दिया तो इस तरह से डिफरेंट वर्क प्रैक्टिस डिफरेंट शेड्यूल्स के मुताबिक डिफरेंट शेड्यूल्स को अडॉप्ट करते हुए जब आप स्टूडेंट्स को वर्किंग के लिए भेजते हैं जब आप स्टूडेंट्स को लर्निंग uh, के लिए भेजते हैं तो सो दैट इज नोन एज अल्टरनेटिंग सीक्वेंस ऑफ प्लेसमेंट इसमें कौन है अगेन ओके जी नाउ आई मीन बाय दैट टाइम व्हेन द स्टूडेंट्स हैव कंप्लीटेड एंड हैव जॉइंड सम ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दे आर टीचर्स और दे हैव अडॉप्टेड द प्रोफेशन ऑफ नर्सिंग और दे हैव अडॉप्टेड सम अदर प्रोफेशन लाइक सोशल वर्क तो इस तरह के जो कैंडिडेट्स हैं जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं जो कि ये ज्वाइन कर चुके हैं नाउ रादर दे आर नो मोर नो मोर रेगुलर स्टूडेंट्स रादर दे आर मेच्योर्ड स्टूडेंट्स दे आर अप टू देयर uh they are uh, final semesters and uh, they have been sent for they have been sent for uh, working in the organizations to have practical exposures uh then it comes to uh, where i mean this pro professional placement is relevant uh, i mean definitely uh, definitely this placement is in relevant organizations तो जब ये रेलिवेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस में स्टूडेंट्स जाते हैं जाके प्रैक्टिस करते हैं नाउ दे आर मोर ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल स्टूडेंट्स नाउ दे आर मोर नाउ दे आर मोर ऑफ आई मीन मेच्योर स्टूडेंट्स एज कंपेयर टू एज कंपेयर टू इन प्रीवियस स्लाइड्स वी हैव सीन इन प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दैट स्टूडेंट्स वर मोर अटेंडिंग द यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड लेस दे वर मूविंग टू द वर्क प्लेस रादर ओवर हेयर दे आर मोर नाउ मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द वर्क प्लेस एंड दे आर लेस इन्वॉल्व इन टेकिंग देयर रेगुलर कोर्सेज इन टर्म्स ऑफ एजुकेशन फ्राम यूनिवर्सिटीज ओके हाउ लॉन्ग अप टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द कोर्स टाइम दे हैव टू स्पेंड आई मीन द टाइम ड्यूरेशन दैट दे आर सपोज टू स्पेंड इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन uh is up to half or 50% of their course work or 50% of their working so this is uh, for the people who are undertaking the courses professional courses like teaching like nursing like uh, social work ki jo cheeze hain since teaching hai ya nursing hai ya for that matter social work se related uh, jobs hain so far as uh, log uh, so far as students ya learners practical na kare so far as wo practical environment unko na diya jaye involvement na ho practical uh, cheezon ki to unki learning mushkil ho jati hai so now they are uh, this is i mean one, one of the types of um, again uh, i mean uh, we call it um uh, doing i mean doing aspect of it so uh, objectives are to provide professional qualification now we have seen that now we are moving up to the higher levels of uh, uh, qualification higher levels of skill building higher levels of skill achievement so now over here we see that um, the people who are involved in taking uh, this type of uh, uh, placements are basically uh, professionals and uh, उनकी प्रोफेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन को मजीद एनहेंस करने के लिए मजीद इम्प्रूव करने के लिए उनको डिफरेंट जगहों पे सेंड किया जाता है द प्रैक्टिकल फील्ड्स सपोज हम लॉयर्स की एग्जांपल लें तो लॉयर्स को फाइनल सेमेस्टर्स में या फॉर दैट मैटर व्हेन दे आर अप टू फिनिशिंग देयर कोर्स वर्क दे आर दे आर बीन जनरली सेंट टू uh take up few courses in the court of law to understand the terms to understand the dealings with the uh dealing with the people dealing with the judge and so on so that they have the uh, proper professional uh, development with respect to their studies another uh, uh setting of workplace work based uh, learning is known as employment based learning opportunity this employment based learning opportunity is generally provided to the professionals generally provided to the people who have almost completed their education and now they are uh, majority of the times uh, in, uh, involved in doing the things practically while joining their jobs uh, spending times in the organizations 
So professional employees are basically the target for employ uh, employment based learning programs. Uh, organizations where they are working, generally they are the focus of uh, wherever they are working, they have to be there, but still these types of programs are generally offered. How long? Um, the answer to how long is in work um, uh, most of the time um, up to 20 percent release uh, uh, released for study. So they have to uh, uh, I mean, they have been allowed only up to 20% of the time that they are supposed to go out of their jobs. Can you get me? Yes, a log and yes, a professional gen kaza does the other time up new organization or organization ki look after or organization ki performance may contribute karte guzar jata hai in logo ko since they are professional since they are uh, working at uh, maybe the top level or the middle level management. So these people are generally allowed only 20% of the job or 20% uh, of the time to go to go for study. Uh, objectives are professional uh, upgrading and uh, potential development, personal development linked to employee employers needs. So these are the people who are basically looking for uh, or who have been treated as a students for their professional development. They have to fulfill the requirements of their employer. Employers just the right say Joan demands and employer ki jo requirements and unki job ki unki organization ki they are supposed to do that. So uh, we have seen that Jun Jun Ham Log uh, Chote level say Upper Zada ki level ki taraf a rahe hain Jun Jun Hamara uh, formal study ka time formal study ka structure kam hota chala ja raha hai professionalism professional development relatedness to the job relatedness to the workplace and the time spent at the workplace is increasing so chunke in logon ki requirement ye hoti hai ki ye job pe rahe zyada se zyada organization ki taraf contribute kare zyada se zyada jo employer ki needs hain usko fulfill kare so i mean this is one of the ways of uh, letting these people know about work based learning and this is one of the ways of work based learning Another thing is immediately, uh, sorry, immediately post qualifying. Uh, immediately post, uh, post qualifying is about uh, professionals, about engineers, about uh, uh, medicine field, about the MBBS doctors, about many other professional fields like chartered accountants may adopt this type of thing. I mean, already the organizations, the employers put demand to the university that such and such type of people we are looking for. Before completion of their education, they are generally hired before, uh, they are hired before the completion. So who are the basically targets of this uh, type of program? Uh, Pre-registration professionals, evo professionals hain jo ke, uh, Already in on a pro uh go register kiya wa hai kisi company kesat kisi uh working workplace kesat and they are looking for some job. So they have registered themselves with a potential organization where they want to perform job where frontline uh practice under wing of more experienced. Take a where they have to join, they have to join in the organization and they are the one who are the frontline people who are going to join who are joining the organization for the first time they are the people who have uh, newly joined the organization and they are supposed to work with the experienced people who have the experience of five years or more so senior lord is going to take care of them senior lord working in that organization will be uh, will be uh, will be uh, meeting as or will be uh, performing the role of supervisors whereas these people uh, they since joined the organization for the first time are known as the learners or first time joiners. The duration for this activity is generally for one to two years. They have been placed to learn new skills. They have been placed to go through go through some new practices that are necessary to be adopted for uh, appropriate functioning. And the last one is uh, the objectives of this um, uh, immediate post qualifying 
uh, program is to professional development, problem solving, independent decision making, etc. Means to say, I mean, these types of programs are generally offered to the people. Just make a bhi hum jab thodi der pehle ya pichli class, pichle lectures mein hum discuss kar rahe the generic skills ka. The focus is upon building of generic skills. I hope you people know about what generic skills are. We have said that generic skills are the high level skills. Generally, these types of skills are uh, acquired after practicing the things, after practically getting involved in the things. So, I mean, in this lot, ko, ye jo professionals ka ek lot hai, isko kis tarah kis se sikhaya ja sakta hai? Isko is tarah se sikhaya ja sakta hai ki actually problem solving may involve kar diya jaye. Suppose, aap ek training course lene gaye, ya aap ko bheja gaya for the period of one to two years and uh, over there when you were uh, working in one of the factories which was used to produce yarn kapas tha, kapas se yarn produced kiya jata tha, cotton yarn produced kiya jata tha. You were working there and all of a sudden there was a gas leakage and there was a fire in that building where you were sitting or where you were working. What will you do? Now you have to take decisions and you have to take a lot of decisions regarding leave your work, go out of the building, switch off the electricity, call for emergency, call for the people, complain for the people who are responsible for taking care of the gas leakage, call the security guard and so on and so forth. So what appropriate way of saving you from that difficult situation? the way that you will adopt uh, will be basically the requirement of this placement to l let you learn about the practical happenings and handling of the practical mishaps in the organizations not only the mishaps but also how to address to the opportunities that are coming across uh, normal functioning of the organization uh, since you are a professional and uh, maybe your background is from finance and uh, you have to, uh, you are responsible for making investments in different uh, options, in different opportunities that are coming across in the normal environment. So you have to take care of them as well. You have to analyze, you have to scan the environment, you have to analyze the information that is coming from, uh, from the environment. You have to take care of your competitors, you have to respond to the moves of the competitors and you are the one to identify the right opportunity to be availed. So you have to, uh, I mean you should be careful enough and you must know the skills, you must possess the skills that are necessary for uh, uh, availing those uh, opportunities which are um, taking or occurring in the environment. So immediately post qualifying is about placement of people placement of professionals in such uh, workplaces where they learn by doing their practical things and where they are involved in doing the practical exercises related to everyday life and the scenarios that they come across and the decisions that they are supposed to take uh, on daily basis. Uh, continuing professional development is another program, is another type of work based learning. Uh, who are basically the target people for um, this program. The target people for this program are all occupations with a sportive working environment. Means to say all the professionals are a part of this. Anybody can take this program. Anybody can enhance its learning, enhance uh, his or her skills, enhance the capabilities uh, he or she is possessing by. Uh, but one thing, one major thing uh, is about the um, comfortable rather sportive work environment that they have. Wo learn to karna chahte hain, wo is tarah ki practical activities mein involved to hona chahte hain, lekin kehne ka matlab ye ke environment unko allow nahi karta. The boss is that much rid, uh, rigid, uh, I mean the boss is having that much rigid attitude that uh, wo agar ijazat lena chahe to avail this training, to avail this program, to boss allow nahi karta. Yeah, policies as I mean, suppose if you want to go somewhere for learning, for enhancing yourself, for enhancing the abilities that you have, uh, you have to sacrifice your salary. 
again i mean the thing is the environment of uh, that organization is not supportive for learning there can be several other reasons there can be some politics type of thing there can be some complex structure of the organization there can be some communication gaps there can be some uh, uh, more things that uh, that are unsportive in nature and uh, the person who wants to go for learning or who wants to develop his skills maybe the professional skills maybe the educational skills he or she may not be able to do that okay so uh, generally what where uh, this continuing professional development takes place it generally takes place in the company in training centers in the field and at, at home means to say this type of uh, training or these types of learning can be availed at any time based on the factors sporting factors that support their learning company ke andar bhi ho sakti hai company training ke through bhi ho sakti hai company mein jo problems arise ho rahi hain unko address karke apne decision making skills uh, skills ko refine karne se bhi ho sakti hai field mein if you are an engineer or if you have background or if you are a project manager you have to visit the field you have to go and work for practically in the field so when you are practically contributing towards the solution of the things or functioning of the project then you are leading a project so there can be several things that can be learned and there can be several things with respect to decision making and so on so you have to acquire the uh, you are uh, you want to acquire the skills but you are uh, uh environment is not supportive so in this very manner it is uh, not possible for you to learn for how long maybe uh, throughout career the duration for continuing professional development jaisa ki naam se zahir hai ki since this is a continuous professional development to kya hai isme the i mean yahan pe jo trainings hain ya learning ka jo scenario hai wo har waqt chalta rehta hai वो कहीं भी स्टॉप नहीं होता किसी भी लम्हे रुकता नहीं है अनलेस के फैक्टर्स जो हैं ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फैक्टर्स हैं इन्वायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स हैं जॉब से रिलेटेड फैक्टर्स हैं पर्सनल फैक्टर्स हैं वो आपको आपकी लर्निंग को हैम्पर ना करें अगर हैम्पर नहीं करते तो सो यू कैन लर्न एट एनी टाइम एट एनी प्लेस एट एनी वेयर इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन द फील्ड एट होम वेर एवर यू फील लाइक what are the objectives of continuing professional development the continuous professional development objectives are to gain specific skills updating those skills dealing with ethical issues growth through contributing to other development areas means to say that this is since professional development so you have to focus on the ethical issues that are uh, taking place in your organizations you have to enhance your decision making skills with respect to uh dealing with different groups with dealing with different people having different attitudes uh you have to increase or enhance the uh, enhance your contributions with respect to organizational function functioning and so on so students in the previous lectures in the previous slides we have learned about what are the possible forms of work based learning now we are going to look at few of the types of work based learning types of work based learning are basically all those similar to the previous things that we have discussed but over here we will give them some name the terminologies that are generally used the names of the programs that different universities or universities in collaboration with industries used to use and uh, make the students learn types of work based learning include work observation which is also known as job shadowing पिछली स्लाइड्स में जो हमने डिस्कस किया वो हम लोगों ने टाइम ड्यूरेशन को जहन में रख के और ऑब्जेक्टिव्स को जहन में रख के डिस्कस किया अब हम उसके डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स देख रहे हैं कि हमें अपने इर्द गिर्द अपनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में अपनी यूनिवर्सिटीज में किस किस किस्म का प्रोग्राम जनरली नजर आता है सो फर्स्ट वन इज वर्क ऑब्जर्वेशन और जॉब शेडिंग एंड प्रोग्राम इज internship or also known as practicum 
एक और चीज है जो वर्क बेस्ड लर्निंग का प्रोग्राम है विच इज नोन एज अप्रेंटिसिप अप्रेंटिसिप ऑल्सो कंबाइंस प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज एज वेल एज द नॉलेज दैट यू हैव लर्न इन द फॉर्मल लर्निंग सेटिंग्स देर कम्स एन अदर वन दैट इज कोऑपरेटिव एजुकेशन ऑल्सो नोन एज को ऑप्स को ऑप्स या कोऑपरेटिव एजुकेशन ऑल दो हमारे यहाँ पाकिस्तान में तो शायद हमें कम नजर आती है स्टिल दैट इज अनदर फॉर्म ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव और वर्क बेस्ड एक्टिविटी बेस्ड लर्निंग एंड लास्ट वन नॉट रियली द लास्ट वन बट फॉर आर लेक्चर मे बी आई मीन दिस इज अबाउट वर्क स्टडी प्लान सो वर्क स्टडी प्लान also include combination of learning as well as combination of work now students let's look uh, these programs these types of work based programs one by one first one is work observation or job shadowing jaisa ki naam se zahir hai work observation se kya murad hai work observation se murad ye hai ke jab kabhi bhi aap स्टूडेंट्स को एक्सपोजर देते हैं वर्क प्लेस का जब कभी भी स्टूडेंट्स यूनिवर्सिटी से ड्यूरिंग नॉर्मल कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन ड्यूरिंग टेकिंग अप नॉर्मल स्टडीज व्हेन दे मूव टू विजिट सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो दैट इज वर्क ऑब्जर्वेशन सपोज आमतौर पे हम लोग डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का विजिट करते हैं एट टाइम्स वी गो फॉर रिक्रिएशनल trips at times we go for study trips so whenever the organization whenever the university arranges some educational trip for the students to visit a proper working place so that is known as work observation hum log iski example is tarah se le lete hain we want our students to observe or to look at the things maybe for their enjoyment but enjoyment ke sath sath learning bhi ho rahi hoti hai hum logon ne unko bheja ke aap jaye aur lipton tea ki jo factory hai ya vital tea ki jo factory hai wahan ka visit karke aaye university by itself has arranged a trip for people for its students to visit the vital tea factory so when the students go there they observe many of the things the things can be related to workplace the things can be related to the behavior of employees with the guests behavior of employees with the supervisor behavior of employees with the employees with the other employees to whom we say coworkers they are observing the work itself that is the job that is taking place in that organization basic function of vital tea is to produce tea tea leaves packing of it and then delivering it to the people in the market known as customers so going through the slide this is a general short term unpaid placement where the student spends time in the field but doesn't perform any task now it is clear from the definition of work observation that what do we mean by work observation work observation is basically related to looking at work going through the activities that are taking place in the organization and definitely when we go for enjoyment purpose 
and with enjoyment we try to learn something by looking at the people by looking at things by looking at the environment this type of task is generally unpaid the reason behind is that we generally do not have any contribution to that workplace we do not take any task any responsibility so that is why this type of work observation this type of job observation is unpaid the time that is generally utilized one day or maybe few hours it helps in developing awareness of since the core reason since the core objective of work observation is to make people is to make students aware of the happenings aware of the things that are taking place so the things they uh, that they get aware of are related to the work itself variety of jobs work environment communication between people and many other factors so work itself se murad zahir hai work organization to organization differ karega students ko humne bheja vital t factory zahir hai the function of the work of vital t factory is to produce t different types of jobs variety of jobs that they may observe over there few employees will be engaged in crushing the tea leaves few people working in the tea factory will be involved in blending the tea leaves with some chemicals edibles few people will be involved in packing he will be involved in delivering or transporting the packed tea to the warehouse and so on so job variety different types of work that people are doing over there so it is known as job variety and overall working environment the overall working environment includes heating cooling system lightning basic things required basic material required basic machinery required basic items required to do work and so on moving on to the other type of work that is internship or practicum what basically is internship this is a familiar term that most of us are familiar with we have heard about this internship so what is internship or practicum generally students ko during the course work kaha jata hai ki you may go for 2 3 4 6 eight weeks to perform some job in the organization and come up with the observations and come up with the things that you have seen and you are supposed to write a report regarding whatever you have seen based on your observation at times this report may be focusing some sort of problem solving the problems that are prevalent in that organization so let's go to the slide and read what practicum is this is more familiar term yes we are all familiar of it we have heard the word internship and internship is one of the work based learning program 
it is often a full time placement and may be paid fully paid at a or paid at a reduced rate or unpaid three conditions ye to aapko full payment hogi kuch organizations hain jo ke fully pay kar rahi hoti hain kuch organization hain jo ke reduced rate pe partially pay kar rahi hoti hain aur kuch organizations hain jo kuch bhi pay nahi kar rahi hoti hain since you are not their regular employee since you are not their regular contributor in the functioning of the organization so kya hota hai ke wo aapko kuch pay at times karti hain kuch at times pay nahi karti internships typically occur after completion of all instructions but may be a requirement for graduation इंटर्नशिप्स के बारे में आमतौर पे इंस्ट्रक्शंस आपको यूनिवर्सिटी में दे दी जाती हैं ड्यूरिंग योर इंटर्नशिप जनरली यूनिवर्सिटी टेक्स नो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू इंटरेक्ट विद द स्टूडेंट्स जनरली देर इज नो सुपरवाइजर अवेलेबल एट द टाइम ऑफ इंटर्नशिप फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी साइड द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर सपोज टू टेक अप इंटर्नशिप आर सपोज टू वर्क अंडर द सुपरविजन ऑफ द सीनियर्स in that particular organization whatever the requirements of the job are that interni is directed to do so with the help of a person experienced person working in that organization hum log general observation hai different kisam ki organizations jo hame nazar aati hain उनमें हमारे यहाँ पाकिस्तान में जो इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम्स ऑफर कर रही हैं मुस्लिम कमर्शियल बैंक है बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स जाते हैं मुस्लिम कमर्शियल बैंक में कुछ टाइम लगाते हैं उनके प्रॉब्लम्स के बारे में जानने की कोशिश करते हैं उनके वर्क प्रैक्टिसेस के बारे में जानने की कोशिश करते हैं जनरली इंटर्नशिप इज रेलिवेंट टू द फील्ड ऑफ स्टडी जहाँ पे यहाँ हमने डिस्कस किया कि जनरली द इंस्ट्रक्शन फ्राम द यूनिवर्सिटी साइड आर कम्प्लीट उसमें ये भी बात जहन में रखने की है कि जो आपके फील्ड से रेलेवेंट इंस्ट्रक्शंस हैं वो आमतौर पे यूनिवर्सिटी की तरफ से कंप्लीट हो चुकी होती हैं नाउ यू आर द वन टू अप्लाई योर नॉलेज टू रिकॉल योर नॉलेज ट्राई टू आइडेंटिफाई द गैप्स दैट आर प्रीवेलेंट इन दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड राइट अ रिपोर्ट एट द एंड ऑफ द इंटर्नशिप हमारे यहाँ पाकिस्तान में मुख्तलिफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम्स ऑफर करती हैं कुछ सूरतों में इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम की एडवर्टीजमेंट पोस्ट की जाती है और कुछ सूरतों में नहीं की जाती बहुत सारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैं जो कि अपने वेब पेजेस पर पे इंटर्नशिप्स की ओपनिंग ऑफर कर देती हैं सो यू हैव टू बी विजिलेंट एनफ इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर सम स्पेसिफिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू ज्वाइन फॉर फॉर द टाइम बींग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू क्लोज a lecture by saying that definitely learning without work and work without learning is just nothing so there is a need to combine both streams of knowledge and the things that we are learning the examples that we are sharing the ways or the types of work based learning that we are studying helps us to understand this concept of work based learning more clearly Thank you for now.